Today I'm going to show you a simple and easy way to handle control focus in WPF and model view view model the pattern. We're going to accomplish two things. Number one, we're going to handle request and control focus from our view models. And two, we're going to handle very simple focus events directly in the view. So let's give a quick rundown of the basic application that we have in front of us today. Uh, I just have a simple username and password text box with a login button. So the login button is bound to the login command and my username and password text box are bound to properties on the view model. So let's take a quick look at the view model. So very straightforward, we have a constructor that takes in a login service, and this is just a fake service that I created for the demo. It doesn't actually do anything other than throw an exception. So if we were to go look at this guy, that's gonna look like this, where we have login, username, and password, and then we're just gonna go ahead and throw an exception. That's gonna set us up for a scenario where we want to create a focus event in our UI. And then just our basic properties that are wired up for the view model interaction with the view. And here's our actual login method that occurs when we actually click the button, and there's our catch handler for the, for the authentication exception. So there's two things that we want to do. Number one, um, when I start this application, you'll notice that I don't have focus on either one of these text boxes. Now I can click in here, of course, and gain focus, but I want to focus in on this username text box by default. And then if I try to log in, and let's say the login fails, I want it to focus in on the password text box so the user can maybe retype their password without having to select in there. So those are the two basic things we're going to do today. Now, in MVVM, the most basic way to handle focus is directly in the view, and this is okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is give our username text box a name, and we're just gonna be very straightforward about that. And directly in the view, we're gonna create a event handler for the onload event. So we'll actually come back to our XAML and wire up the loaded event handler. Now in here, all we care about doing is taking our username text box and calling the focus event. This is perfectly acceptable in MVVM. This is still all view logic. This has nothing to do with our view model. So you're not breaking the pattern by doing this. So there's our first problem solved. I've got initial focus on the control element that I want to be able to immediately type into. Now the second thing that happens is I want to have focus on the password box when something goes wrong. Now, to do this, we need a way for our view model, because that's where that code is going to execute from, to notify the view that we're requesting that element to be focused. And I'm gonna show you a very simple way to do that. Now, I do wanna note that this is not the only way to handle control focus, but it's a way that I've handled control focus in applications I've built. And what we're going to do is we're gonna create a focus requested interface, essentially, that our view model can call a method and tell the view we're requesting focus for a specific property on the view model. And then the view can check the names of the property and say, if it's the password uh, property, we'll go ahead and focus on the appropriate element. So we're gonna create an I request focus interface. And this is very straightforward. It's basically just gonna have an event And we're gonna create some arguments. So this will be focus requested event args, and these will also be very basic. And the event is gonna be called focus requested. Now the event arguments are very straightforward. We basically just wanna be able to specify a property name. like so. Very straightforward. Now this interface is actually going to be implemented by our view model itself. And this is what's going to allow the view model to actually notify the view. And we'll show you how to wire all this up here in just a second. So we're gonna create our focus requested event. We're gonna create a method So just like our property change event handler that's very common in MVVM, this is also very simple. And we're just gonna pass through our property name. 
So now what's going to happen is in our login method, when an exception gets thrown, we want to basically raise this focus requested event and say the property that we're requesting focus for is the password property. So I'm actually going to use the name of syntax, which allows me for easy, easily, um, easy refactoring of the view model. So we're going to say name of password. So if I ever change the property name, it'll change there as well instead of passing in the hard-coded string. Now, that's all we need to do on the view model side. Basically, it's just going to raise that event. Now, we're going to subscribe to that event from the view itself. Now, this is where there's a little bit of coupling, but not much. So in our onloaded event, we're going to add some additional logic. We're basically going to say, I request focus. We're going to do this by our interface definition. And we always know, at least in this case, we have one view model to the view. So we're not going to worry about checking for null or anything like that. And this is where we're going to subscribe to that event. Now in here, we can basically say, depending on the property that request a focus, so in our case, password, we can set focus on the appropriate UI element. So we're going to come back in here and give our password box a name now. Like so. Come back in here. And do the same thing. Just like that. So now if we were to run this, there's our initial focus, and if I go ahead and log in, now you can see because that exception was thrown in our fake service, it set focus to the password. So I can do that again, and there's the focus event. So that's a pretty straightforward way to handle focus in WPF and MVVM. Like I said, there's other ways you could go about it as well. Um, one other note that I will say is instead of using hard-coded strings, often what I will do is come in here, and I always know that in my case, I always have one view model per view, so it's very little code to save the actual concrete type of our view model. Cast that to our data context. And then down here, again, use the same name of operator. So this gives you a lot of refactoring power in your application with a little bit of coupling to the actual view model type, but we're still not mixing concerns between what the view model should handle versus what the view should handle. This is all still view logic, so we're not really breaking the pattern. If you wanted to keep it a little bit more purist in terms of the MVVM pattern, you could extract an interface from your view model. So we could actually come in here and let's create an interface, public interface, and uh, you can call it whatever you want, like so. And if you really wanted to decouple the view model from the view, we could do our properties this way. And instead of using the concrete type name in our code behind for the view, you can use the interface like so. I did add an example unit test to the project. So this will demonstrate how one would verify the behavior of requesting focus correctly for a given property name. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit like below and don't forget to subscribe.